Welcome to this presentation of Caroni Cloud. Caroni Cloud is a system uh, like a Dropbox or OneDrive, but with a difference that our system is just a fraction of a price, especially for institutions who have many people and maybe don't need a huge amount of data as Dropbox and OneCloud offers. We have a system where you buy a license for one domain and you can have up to 40 users and only pay £27 a month. So now I will go through what uh, our cloud solution is, how it works and which elements it has built into it. So the web interface is pretty much as you know it from uh, Dropbox and uh, maybe one cloud. You log into your account and you will have all your folders here and you can share each of the folders with any person within your organization or external. Uh, you can also write notes to each shared folder when it comes to, for example, rules on how to do things and so on uh, to make sure that everybody has the same information. Next to the web interface, you will also have your client uh, that you uh, will install on your PC. You can have several accounts uh, installed at the same time. Here you will decide which folder you want to synchronize down to your PC and which folder you would like not to synchronize to your PC to save space. So that is the web, that, that is the folder system. You access it just like you would with a Dropbox. You have a folder on your system, you add files and it's immediately updated to your online version as well. The cloud solution also have a cooperation suite built in. So that means that uh, you can open any document in the system and it will open in an, uh, an editor that is built in to uh, one cloud, uh, next cloud I mean. You can then uh, open a document and you can cooperate with other people. This is, for example, me writing from another user on the mobile phone and you will see exactly what he is doing. And when you type up here, he will be able to see what you are typing. It also have all kinds of uh, uh, sharing options where you can uh, chat with a person that you're cooperating with. You can uh, join a conversation. You can start a video chat, a normal chat. You can uh, address a person who will get a notification straight away and join into the documents. This is kind of a cooperation suite and you can do this with Excel and Word as well. So this is a built-in system in uh, our Nextcloud solution as well. Then you have the app on the phone that you download and install. And uh, here you will see the owner of each document. You can share, you can upload, you can uh, click around in your documents and you can do anything that you would expect to be able to do from within a client like this. Uh, you also have an app uh, that is called Nextcloud Talk, which means that you can start a conversation with uh, whole groups, a uh, single person in your contact list and uh, this uh, conversation is both chat and video. So you can actually have a group video conference within this application as well. So those are the two apps that comes on your mobile. Back to the user interface. So we are going through the file system. Then you also have a photo gallery. And the photo gallery, uh, you can have several albums within the system. You can uh, click on the albums. Uh, this is one for websites and you can share any album with the relevant people. So uh, that's about a photo album. You have an activity log that will tell you everything that has gone on um, in the articles and the files that you are involved in. You have the Nextcloud talk that we have talked a little bit about. You can start a conversation, video chat with any group, any person within your platform, even across accounts. Everybody who is using Nextcloud can use this system. You also have a mail client where you can install your mails. So all your mails will also come in here. Uh, you can reply emails. Uh, you have 
access to all the address books uh, within the system. So in that sense, it might be a very useful feature. Contact, you can build up several contact lists. Uh, each of these contact lists you can share with the relevant groups. Uh, so if you have one that is called uh, uh, social advisors, you can share them with everybody within your organization that works with communication. When they log in, they will see that address book and so on. So it's very easy to share all your contacts so everybody got access to exactly what they need. Then you have the calendar. The calendar is also a quite uh, neat feature because you can have as many calendars as you want. You can have for event, for your cars, uh, anything you want. And uh, you can book, uh, you can write in all your uh, appointments into this system. You can also integrate this calendar into your Outlook uh, using third-party software. So you can work from your Outlook and get all these events automatically synchronized down. If you are running a business that needs to, that's working with appointments, you can also use uh, something like book an appointment. This will automatically also go into your Karuni cloud. You can book an appointment, you can write uh, a name, an address, and you can book the appointment. The both parties will then get an email about this appointment and it will be added to your calendar as well. Then we have task. It works in the same way. You can have several different types of tasks and you can share them with the relevant people or the relevant um, groups that need access to those tasks. And then you can make a task list. So uh, you can make deadlines, you can say uh, if there's important priority, and so on. And uh, this is also a way for a whole school to have full control over all the tasks that goes on within the organization. And then towards the end, I also wanted to introduce uh, something for Outlook on Windows. If you are sending a lot of big files to people with slow internet connection, there is also a plugin within Outlook where you can uh, uh, upload files, uh, attach them to your system, uh, and uh, when you're ready to sell, send, it will just add a box like this, and then you send it to the user. Then when the uh, user actually gets the mail, he gets uh, the mail in like this, and there is a link, and he can click this link, and it will automatically uh, uh, give access to the place on the next cloud where this file is and they can download the file. So this is a good solution if you are sending big files or if people have slow internet connections. That was a quick walkthrough of uh, how uh, Nextcloud works. And as I told you before, if you have many people in your organization, this is an excellent solution for you. With Dropbox, you pay up to $10, 10 euros per account. So if you have 40, you can pay up to 400 euros or dollars every month. With ours, you pay 27 pounds for all of them. Of course, you have less data. We are giving 150 gigabyte in this package that normally is enough for an institution to run through the year. You can add additional space if you want, but uh, in this way, you buy one license for the whole institution and then one administrator in the organization can create all the users, can create all the shares, can create all the permission, so your business is ready to use the whole platform and all its elements.